Hello and welcome to yet an, another lecture on control system. Paper code PCEP 503. Myself, Prothito Rai, Assistant Professor of Dr. Shubhir Chandra Shu, Institute of Technology and Sports Complex, Department of Electrical Engineering. Today, my topic is Route Harwich Criteria. Lesson Objective. After end of this topic, students will be able to analyze the stability of a system in time domain using route Harwich criteria. So we all know in control system a closed loop system is said to be stable if and only if all the poles of the closed loop are lies on the left hand side of the S plane. So in a control system or a closed loop system is said to be stable when all the closed loop poles if and only if all the poles of the closed loop system lies on the left hand side of the S plane. This is known to us. So if we see uh, there are some essential conditions are there in order to make a system stable. The first one is that all the coefficients of any characteristics polynomial, this is known to us the characteristics polynomial. So all the coefficients of the characteristics polynomial must or should have the same sign. Means what I have told us, so this is a characteristics polynomial. This square. Plus is minus two. So I have said that all the characteristics polynomial should have uh, all the coefficient of the characteristics polynomial should have same sign. So here it is plus one. Here it is plus one, but it is minus two. It is also a poly uh, coefficient of power is to the power zero. So what are the values of is that we have obtaining? So it can be written as s plus two by middle term factorization s minus 1 equal to 0. So value of the s are minus 2 and 1. So it is clear that one of the pool that is this one plus 1 is lies on the right hand side of the s plane. So from that particular characteristics polynomial, we can say that this system is unstable. The system is unstable. So, this is one of the essential condition is that to become a system stable, the first one is that all the coefficient of the characteristics polynomial must or should have the same sign. It is plus one, it is plus one, it is minus two because it is also the coefficient of s to the power zero. And the second one is that, and the second one is that in case of the characteristics polynomial should 
not have any missing term. A characteristic polynomial should have should not have any missing term. So here I can say that a characteristic polynomial, say this one, is q plus a square equal to zero. So it is clear that the s that is s to the power one and s to the power zero, these terms are missing, missing here. So here only the terms are s cube and s square. So the s to the power one and s to the power zero, these both terms are missing. So we can write in this way that this one can be written. the values of the s are there will be three values two zero values and one minus value so here two zeros are at origin so it is multiple poles are at origin there is the system is in diverging in nature. So we can say that this is also an unstable system because there are multiple poles are at origin, which indicates the system is diverging in nature. So this is a, another essential condition for a system to make stable in time domain. So first one is all the coefficients of the characteristics polynomials must or should have the same sign. The characteristics polynomial should not any missing term. This is the second one in order to find the stability of a system in time domain. So route are we stability criteria. So it is a method for determining or determining the continuous stability, continuous system stability. The route are which criteria state that the number of roots of the characteristic equation with positive real parts is equal to number of changes in sign of the first column of route array. So before understanding the particular portion, we have to know how we will construct the route array. So the route hardware stability criteria that this method yields the stability information without the need to solve for the closed loop system poles. Using this method, we can tell that how many closed loop poles are lies on the the hand side of the x plane, how many closed loop poles arise on the right hand side of the x plane, and also on the j omega axis. So, this method that is required the two steps one is called the generate a data table called route table, and another is the interpret, interpret the route interpretation of the or say route table to tell how many closed loop system poles are in the left hand side or in the right hand side or on the j omega axis. So this is the first we have to know how to construct the route table. So if the closed loop transfer function has all the poles on the left hand side of the S plane, the system is stable that we have I have already told thus a system is stable if there is no sign changes in the first column of the route table. So when we construct the route table, we will first observe the first column of the route table. If there is no sign changes in the first column of the route table, we will call the system is a stable system. A number of sign changes will indicate the number of poles allies on the right hand side of the S plane. The route hardware criteria 
declares that the number of roots of the polynomials lies on the right half of the S plane is equal to number of sign changes in the first column. Hence, the system is unstable if the force lies on the right hand side of the S plane. So, first we will have to construct the route table, then we will only see the first column, first column of the route table. From that first column, we will see that if there is any sign change is there, if there is any sign change, we will comment that the system is unstable and number of sign change will give us an idea that number of sign change is equal to number of holes that lies on the right hand side of the is plane. So, how to generate a route table? So, this is a characteristic polynomial, this one. A4 is to the power 4 plus A3 is Q plus A square, A2 is square plus A1s plus A0 equal to 0 will give a characteristic polynomial from that transfer function. This is Rs, Cs, the input and the output. This is a transfer function. And from the characteristic polynomial, we will write in the in that way that first we will write the s to the power 4 followed by s to the power 3 s square that is each row we will have to construct a route array so array means it's a combination of row and column so first row will contain the s to the power 4 second one is s cube third one is s square fourth one is s to the power 1 that is s and fifth one is s to the power 0. so first we will write in order to construct the first row we will write the coefficient of first the coefficient of s to the power 4 that is a, a4 followed by the coefficient of s square that is a2 followed by the coefficient of s to the power 0 that is a0 then the second row will follow will construct by taking the coefficient of s cube that is a cube a3 a3 followed by the coefficient of s to the power 1 that is a1 and 0. So the s square that is the third row will be construct by but in this way that is the determination of if this one minus of determination of that particular uh, f4 a2, A3 and A1 divided by A3 that is denoted by B1. And the second element of the A square row is determined by this one. A4, A3, A0 and A is minus of the determination divided by A3 that is called the B3. And third one, it will be A4, A3, 0, 0 minus of the determination divided by a3 that is 0. So s to the power 1 that is the fourth row that will be determined by this one. This is called the b1. Now it is a3, b1, a1, b2 determination minus of that particular determination divided by b1 will give the c1. The second element of that row will give by this one a3 b1 0 0 minus of the determination by b1 and the third row is also given by a3 b1 0 0 that determination of that particular thing minus by minus of the determination by b1 equal to 0 so s to the power 0 that particular row can be given by b1 c1 b2 0 this one divided by c1 determination of that one minus of the determination of b1 c1 b2 0 divided by c1 second is given by b1 c1 0 0 minus of the determination by c1 and third one is given by b1 c1 0 0 minus of determination of that particular divided by c1 in this way the entire route array is from and we have to obtain the first column of the route array this one only the first column we have to concentrate on the first column of the route array in order to comment on the step in order to comment on the stability of a system we have to concentrate on the first column of the route array 
and we have to see the how many uh, sign changes are there, number of sign changes are there in the first column of the route array. So number of sign changes, if there is no sign changes, the system is said to be stable. If number of sign changes will indicate the number of closed loop codes arise on the right hand side of the is plane. So let us take a characteristic situation. This one. So it will be construct like that s to the power 4, s cube, s squared, s and s to the power 0. We are now constructing the route array. So there the value of s to the power 4 is 1 s square the coefficient that is the s to the power 4 coefficient is 1 s cube coefficient is 3 and s to the power 0 is 5. Now, uh, the coefficient of s to the power 4 is 1, coefficient of s squared is 3, and s to the power 0 is 5. Followed by, uh, in order to form this row, the s cube coefficient is 2, s coefficient is 4, and 0. So the s square is that 2 into 3, that is 6, minus 4 into 1, that is 4, 3 into 2 that is 6 or we can write in this way we can write in this way 1 into 4 that is 4 minus 3 into 2 that is minus 6 4 minus 6 that is and just give him an idea of how to how we can determine that uh, it is given that this is the way to determine the so it is given that this one is in that way that this one is one three one three and two four one three two four divided by two so it will give an idea that this one is 1 into 4, that is 4 minus 6. By 2, that is 2 by 2. And this is 1. So this is, in this way, this calculation of the route array is done. In this way, the calculation of route area is done. This is 1. And this one is same. 5, uh, 1 into 0, minus 5 into 10, that is minus 10. Minus of minus 10 is plus 10. Plus 10 by 2 equal to 5. So in this way, the entire determination is, entire route area is from. This one is 4 into, uh, 2 into 5, that is 10. Minus 1 into 4, that is minus 4. 10 minus 4 is 6. Minus of uh, 6 is minus 6 by 1. This one is minus 6. So here another all are 0. So we have to, we have we, we will not concentrate on that particular part because all will be 0 that we have already seen. That this one is 0, 0, 0, 0. So here it will be 1 into 0, 0. Minus of minus 6 into 5 that is plus 30. Uh, that is uh, 1 into 0, 0. And that is, and in this way, it will be created as plus, uh, 30 plus 30 uh, determination minus minus of plus 30 is minus 30 minus 30 by minus 6, it is plus 5. So we will see that now we will concentrate on this first column, only the first column. This is plus 1, this is plus 2, no sign change. So this is plus 1, this is plus 2. From here it is plus 1, no sign change, it is from plus 1 to minus 1, minus 6. So it is, we will now again concentrate on that, this is plus 1, plus 2, no sign change. Plus 2, plus 1, no sign change. Ma plus 1, minus 6, there is a sign change. And minus 6 to plus 5, there is another sign change. So there are two sign changes, means that two codes are lies on the right hand side of the s plane and the system is unstable. So, we can write in this way that in 
this way that you can write. We have already constructed that particular route array. So we have already constructed that particular route array. This is the first column. One, two, one, minus six, minus six and five. So we are just concentrating on the first column of the route array. So it is from plus one to plus two. So no sign change. It is plus two to plus one. There are no sign changes, but there is a sign change. Plus one to minus six, minus six, this one. So there is a sign change. And this is from plus six to minus six to plus five. So there's another sign change. So there is a sign change. So there are number of poles that is lies on the right hand side of the S plane is two because there are two sign changes. So number of poles that is lies on the right hand side of the S plane is two and the system is unstable. So now this is a transfer function that is given. So the characteristic polynomial is SQ plus 10 S square plus 31 S plus 1030 equal to 0. So from there SQ will be 1, 31 and 0 and S square will be 1, 10, uh, 1030 and 0. So we can divide it by the entire S square row by 10. So it will be 1, 103 and 0. So again, we are forming the s to the power one and s to the power zero by the same form, uh, form, uh, formation of route array that we have already seen. So it is clear that the first row of the route array is one, one, minus 72 and one, zero, three. So there are sign changes at two, that one. There is no sign changes here, but here plus one to minus 72, one and minus 72 plus one, zero, 72 to plus one, zero, three, that is the two. The two sign changes mean the two poles are lies on the right hand side of the S plane, which will give that the system is unstable. So here, another characteristic polynomial that we have seen here. So we are doing the same process in order to construct the route array. That is one and two for S cube and one and 24 for S square. From that, we will easily find the values of S to the power one and S zero. So it is seen that the there is no sign changes from plus one to plus one, but there is a sign changes from plus one to minus 22 and from minus 22 to plus 24. So there are two sign changes appears in the first column. We will only concentrate on the first column. So that means that the two roots of the characteristic situation lies on the right hand side, lie, lie on the right hand side of the S plane and hence the system is unstable. So another example that is given that determine the range of values of the system parameter k for which the system is stable. So we will find the route array. So this is the route array. One, the SQ coefficient is one, three, and k. One, three, and one, three, and uh, zero. And uh, S square coefficient uh, is three and one plus K and zero. So from that, we can easily find the S to the power one that is eight minus K by three and zero and S to the power zero equal to one plus K. Now, now we have to concentrate on, now we have to concentrate on that particular thing. That is given that from that equation, so our first motto is to make the system stable. So for the for the system to make stable, that particular part eight minus k that will be by three. That will be mass because this sign is positive plus one. This sign is positive, so this sign must be positive in order to find the no sign change. 
or in order to maintain the same sign same sign so it will be greater than zero so it indicates that k must be less than eight so if k values is less than eight so it will be remain positive now this one is positive this one is positive and this one is positive to make that this particular element positive will be one plus k will be greater than zero so will be k will be greater than minus one so the range of the k is k will be greater than minus one and less than eight in order to find the system is stable so k will be lies between minus one to eight in order to find that this system the range of values of the k to make this system stable because this is the plus sign this is the plus sign we have to make it plus sign the first column of the route array and we have to make it this one also a plus sign because the first, there is no sign change in the first column of the route array so the special cases are that zero in the first column if first element of a row is zero division by zero will be required in order to form the next row so to avoid this the zero will be replaced by a small parameter small number that is called the epsilon the zero will be replaced by a epsilon means in the first column of the route array if we find that any zero value then it is tough to divide uh, in order to find the next row we have to divide it divide that particular uh, determination by zero so in order to avoid this we are taking a small number called epsilon so here it is seen that from the characteristics equation we are finding that the, in case of the h to the power one the first we will only concentrate on the first column it will be possible when the first column of the route array if there is zero but all the other elements are not zero then that particular zero will be replaced by a small number called epsilon again i am repeating when the first column of a route array there is a zero there in the first column of the route array and other elements so here they are the other elements on of that particular row is non-zero in the first element will be replaced by a small positive number called very very small positive number epsilon there we have seen that say we only concentrate on the if the first column element is zero for that particular row is to the power one if this one is zero and others if will have some values then only this will be replaced by epsilon so we are replace it with the help of a small very very small positive number called epsilon so now there is a characteristic situation there is s to the power 5 plus 2 s to the power 4 plus 2s cube plus 4s square plus 11s plus 10 we are doing the route array so from there we are putting the values of s to the power 5 the coefficient is 1 2 and 11 and for s to the power 4 it is 2 4 and 10 here we are founding the value for s cube which is 1 into 4 4 minus 2 into 2 4 4 minus 4 equal to 0 but here it is 1 into 10 6 uh, minus 2 into 20 even that is 22 so 10 minus 22 that is minus 12 minus of minus 12 is plus 12 divided by 2 is 6 so it is clear that for that particular row this element is 0 this one is 6 so means the 
for that particular row, the first column value is zero, but the other values for that row is not zero. So we can replace that particular zero with the help of epsilon. So so uh, the values of the square uh, we can see one that is this one 4 into epsilon minus 12 by epsilon so epsilon value is and uh, value of the d1 is given by and next one is 10 into epsilon minus 2 into 10 by divided by epsilon that is 10. So value of d1 is found by using that particular equation that is uh, 6c1 minus 10 epsilon by c1. So when epsilon, the value of epsilon is a positive number and very very small positive number that is epsilon tends to 0. When epsilon tends to 0, this value became minus 12 by epsilon and this one became 6. So it is clear that it is 1, 2 epsilon, it is minus 12 by epsilon and this is 6. So if I concentrate on the first column of the round array, we will see that If I concentrate on the first column of the round array, we will see that it is given that it is 1, 2, it is epsilon, C1 is minus 12 by epsilon, C1 is 6, and then zero. So epsilon value is a small, very, very small positive value where epsilon tends to zero. So this one positive from positive to positive, no sign change. Again, from positive to positive, no sign change. But there is a sign change here because it is going from positive to negative. So there is a sign change. And another is from negative to positive. So there is an another sign change. So it is again going from positive to positive, so no sign change. So there are two sign changes. So means that is two poles are lies on the right hand side of the S plane. And it is given that there are two changes due to the large negative number in the first column. Therefore, the system is unstable and two roots of the equation that is lies on the right hand side of the S plane, which is clear. These two roots will be lies on the right hand side of the is plane. So it is same here, same problems. That is, we have to find the parameter, range of parameter k for which the system is unstable. So the, we say only be 1, 1 and k, and for s2, for s2, what for, and for s2, we will be 1, 1 and 0. So again, that is, 0, 1, 1, 1 into 1 minus 1 into 1 by 1, that is 0, so it is replaced by epsilon. And then it is k, 1 into k minus 1 into 0 by 1, that is k. So c1 will be became epsilon minus k by epsilon, that is minus k by epsilon. And this one has to the power 0 will be become uh, k. If I do it, f to the power 0 will be become k. So therefore, for any value of the k greater than 0, the system is unstable. For any value of the k, from there it will be it is clear that it is positive, positive, this is positive. So in order to make this system positive, uh, all the signs are sign of the first column of route array to make it equal. So this will be positive, so the value of k will be 0. But for any value of the k, the c1 will be negative. So the system is unstable for any values of the gain k. It is clear that from here the value of the k will be greater than 0 in order to maintain the all the signs, sign of the first column of route array is positive. But if I 
put any value of the positive value of the k, c1 will be become negative. So for any value of the gain k, the system is unstable for all values of gain k. So stability via reverse coefficient is another uh, part that is a polynomial that has the reciprocal roots of the original polynomial as its roots dis distributed the same right half plane, left half plane or imaginary axis because taking the reciprocal of the root value does not move it to, to another or region. So if we can find the polynomial that has the reciprocal roots of the original, it is possible that the route table or the new polynomial will not have a zero in the first color. The polynomial with reciprocal roots with reciprocal roots is a polynomial with the coefficients written in reverse order. This method is usually computationally easier than the epsilon method. So here, here this is a characteristic situation that we have seen and from the characteristic situation we have from the epsilon. So it is clear for the this thing is already known to us. We can easily from that round array. So now for putting the epsilon value positive, so the first column from that particular equation will be remain positive, 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 negative, positive, positive. For epsilon value is negative. This positive, positive, negative, positive, positive, positive. So it is here that the, for epsilon value there are always a two sign change. Okay. So assume uh, for a so there are always a two poles that is lies on the right hand side of the epsilon. So from here it is sign change, one sign change plus two minus or minus two plus, and here it is plus two minus or minus two and minus two plus. So if there are always a sign change that is a two sign changes means the system is unstable and two poles are lies on the right hand side of the display. So uh, here is an, another uh, formula, uh, another uh, approach where write the polynomial for that particular uh, instant. We can write the polynomial, same function, same uh, characteristics polynomial is given here. Both are same, but we can write it in the reciprocal roots of the denominator of ts so how starting from the right hand side so it will become 3 s to the power 5 5 s to the power 4 6 s cube 3 s square plus 2 s plus 1 so just reciprocal it reciprocal roots of the denominator ts that we have already told 3 is to the power 5 5 is to the power 4 6 is cube 3 is square 2 is plus 1 only we are changing the coefficients so look at that the route table will become in that particular way so we are avoiding the conception of epsilon in order to make our table easy and in order to compute that particular route table in an easier way. So you'll see that there are two sign changes that is from plus 133 to minus 1.75 and from minus 1.75 to plus 1. So two sign changes mean there are two poles that is lies on the right hand side of the x plane and also system is unstable and we are also avoiding the conception of it is clear from the table that does not have a zero in the first column so we will avoid the epsilon method complexity or say and make our computation very easy by taking the reciprocal roots of the denominator means only we have to change the coefficient. We will start from the right hand side, and this situation became 3 s to the power 5, 5 s to the power 4, 6 s cube, 3 s square, 2 s plus 1. And then I just put the 
sprout the layer and we can easily avoid the conception of epsilon and also the zero in the first column and make our computation very easy. Another case is the entire row is zero. Sometimes while making a route, then we will find that entire row consists zero. So first we have seen that entire row is not zero. Only the first column element of that particular row is zero. We can replace the zero by epsilon. But epsilon is a very, very small positive number. Or otherwise, in order to avoid the computation, we can make a reciprocal. We can make a reciprocal root of that denominator. Another is the entire row is zero. This is happened because there is an even polynomial that is the factor of the original polynomial. The even polynomial that is the factor of the original polynomial. This case must be handled differently from the case of a zero only in the only the first column of our row. So let us take a characteristic polynomial like that. So it is given that the values of the this type of problem that we have already solved that for the values of the k the system is stable. So it is clear that it is a sign from we can easily construct the route the array and it is that the sign is positive positive so it will be even positive and it will be even positive for that the value of k is greater than zero and less than eight to make the system a stable one. Now, when k equal to 8, when k equal to 8, this entire row becomes 0. And the row which is preceding to the 0 row means the row which is preceding to the 0 row is known as auxiliary polynomial. Means this row, the circle row is given as an auxiliary polynomial. And us is the equation of the row preceding the row of zeros so it is the a square row and number the order of the auxiliary polynomial is always given and indicates the number of symmetrical root pairs symmetrical root pairs so what i have told that if the value of k is 8 so this entire row we see that if value is 0 this value is 0 so the entire row becomes zero. So the row preceding the row which have entire zero value means for s to the power one, this row is entire zero value. So the row preceding the row s to the power one is a square row. So this is the this a square row will give the auxiliary polynomial equation. Now, this is the equation of auxiliary polynomial. The auxiliary polynomial, the equation for the auxiliary polynomial is that this one, from that, we can write the auxiliary polynomial that is us can be written us equal to zero. So the auxiliary polynomial became this one. So the row preceding to the row means here the s to the power one row for the s to the power one row all the values of the row is zero. So the row preceding to the s to the power one row that is a square row. So the equation the auxiliary equation became two a square plus eight equal to zero. 2a square plus 8 equal to 0, it will give a square plus 4 equal to 0. So it will give this one s equal to plus minus j2. 
and it will give a marginally stable conception of the system. Means if I draw the S plane here, this is a marginally stable conception. So this one is plus 2j and another is minus 2j. So here, this is plus 2j with the S plane and this one is minus 2j. So this is the S plane. This is the S plane that we all know. This is the J omega axis. So this is the S plane. So if the poles are lies on the J omega axis, the system is said marginally stable. If the poles are lies on that left hand side, the system is called stable. This is the left hand side of the S plane, this one. And if the poles are lies on the right hand side of the S-plane, that this one, the system is said to the unstable. And if the poles are lies on that J-omega axis, the system is said to be a marginally stable. So from that particular equation, we also find the frequency of the sustained oscillation if so we all know is equal to j omega so j omega equal to 2j we can write so omega equal to 2 omega equal to 2 rat per second it will give the frequency of sustained oscillation from Red per second. So it will give the frequency of sustained oscillation. And it will also give that the system is marginally stable because the poles or the roots are lies on the J omega axis. So if the roots are lies on the left hand side of the system, system is stable. All the poles, and if the all the poles, if some poles are lies on the right hand side of the S plane, system is unstable. And if the poles are lies or the roots are lies on the J omega axis, system is marginally stable. And it also gives us an idea of the frequency of sustained oscillation that is omega equal to 2 rad per second from that particular equation. So today we have learned about the route Harwich criteria and from that particular route Harwich criteria we can also comment on the stability of a system in time domain using route Harwich criteria. Thank you.